right, so I'm getting ready to set the heads on. And best I can figure from the book here, it's saying 95 foot pounds. And it's also saying definitely go off of the stamp on the head gasket as far as front goes. You got these dowels right here on each one of them. You'll see them in the heads. And they actually have a picture here. This is the front of the motor. You want to have it square right there. And if it's not, it tells you that your head gasket's backwards. That's okay if you do it, as long as it doesn't get heated up or pressurized. So everything's clean. I got it on front here. And I've got a square coming out here at the front of the motor, but not at the back. Now if you take this, so this is gray face up. If you take this over here, you flip it, so this, this is a Felpro unit, part number 8554PT. Set it in there, like so. You've also got a square 90 on the front. So when you have your, your gasket setting in there, they will be opposite colors from each other if you go with this kit. Come on, you little devil. All right. So I'm going to go with 95 foot-pounds. And this right here is a torque sequence. Set this up here. Everything's clean. The block side, head side. I've got the bolts, wire brush, cleaned out. Uh, they got just a little bit of oil on there. Not a whole lot. They're factory bolts. They're not ARP or nothing. This is just bone stock motor just to get this old truck back on the road. So I'm going to flip it onto the time lapse here. I can figure this damn thing. Heads on, it's torqued, went through the sequence. Here it is again. It's calling for anyone between, this here a little bit closer, 90 foot pounds, 110 foot pounds. But everywhere I have read, it's saying 95 foot pounds, so be close enough stock motor so i'm just going to run it with 95. there wasn't really any type of torque sequence to it so as you've seen you put them in there finger tight tighten them up a little bit went over a little bit more and a little bit tighter i actually got them right to 95 just with a half inch ratchet so um, if you don't have a torque wrench just Put a little bit, put a little bit of ass into that ratchet, you, you'll get it. Mm -hmm. 